This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Okay, in the uh, last lecture uh, of this chapter of Cruise and Prepayments, uh, we looked at prepayments. We looked at example one. Um, and I'm obviously not going to repeat everything now, uh, but worked out the expense and the prepayment uh, for Karen. But I did say to show you the full picture we do need to look at the second year uh, and see what happens. So I hope you've still got that example we did in front of you, because if you turn now to example three, so don't worry, I'll come back to example two, that's the cruels, but example three, example three in the notes is the same uh, business, it's Karen, but it's looking what happens in the year to 2001. So have a look with me. During the year to 31st December 2001, Karen made the following payments in respect of insurance. On the 12th of June, she paid 2,400 for the 12 months to 30th of June 2002. Now remember, keep example one in front of you. It is the same question. Um, but in example one, if you remember, she'd already paid all the way through to June 2001. And so I'm not surprised that the next bill she gets is in June 2001. And that's for the 12 months through to June 2002. But again, what we want to know is what will be in the um, Statement of Profit and Loss and what will be in the Statement of Financial Position. Again, I'll show you the debits credits later, but they're not really what's important uh, for the exam. So remember, we're looking at the period 1st of January 2001 through to uh, 31st December 2001. That's Karen's year. Well, I know how much cash she paid. The cash paid during the year was 2,400. But I want to know not how much cash did she pay, but what is the actual cost of insuring for January to December? Well, first of all, the cash paid, remember, that was the period from 1st of June uh, 2000, uh, July rather, July. Um, no, start again. The cash paid was the period, sorry, 1st of July 2001 uh, through to June 2002. Now, I want to know the expense for January 2001 to December 2001. So I'm going to have to adjust for two things. First of all, that cash, the cash pay doesn't include the first six months of our year. And so we need to add on how much it was for the first six months of this year. How much was it? Well, it was the prepayment at the end of last year. At the end of last year, remember, we if you look back, I said this is the same example continued. So at the end of last year, we'd already paid for the 1st of January 2001 to the uh, 30th of June. And if you look back, we calculated the amount and it was a thousand. So the cost for our first six months was that thousand we'd overpaid last year. However, one other thing though, although that's the first six months, the cash paid was for 12 months, the six months to the end of December our year, but also we've overpaid again six months, the first six months of 2002. And so we need to take out the prepayment at the end of this year.
And how much have we prepaid for this year? We've paid again 2,400, but we've paid the 1st of July 2001 through to 30th of June 2002. But our year ends in December 2001. We've overpaid the period 1st of July 2001. I beg your pardon, beg your pardon, 1st of January 2002 to the 30th of June 2002. That uh, was part of that 2,400, but the period January to June 2002 is not part of this year's expense. If it's overpaid to get this year's expense, we need to remove it. And how much is it? Again, we've prepaid six months. It's out of that 2,400, which is a 12 month bill. And six twelves, that 2,400 is 1,200. And so think about what I've done. You can get the same figure various ways. I don't care how you do your workings. But this is usually the fastest way in the exam. I took the cash paid. I'm taking out what bit of that is overpaid, which bit of that is next year. And I'm adding on the bit we'd already paid for part of this year. And what figure do I end up with? 2,200. That is the expense for this year. in the statement of profit or loss. Now I say again, you can get the same figure several ways, depends how you feel and now the question, the information is given. But you see the expense this year was half of last year's bill uh, of 2000, so a thousand there, together with half of this year's, I'll, I'll write it down. The other way you could have got it Last year, we paid 2,000 for 12 months to 30th of June. Well, half of that from January to June, it's half of last year's bill. Uh, and from uh, the rest of it, from July to December, that's half of the bill we paid this year. Again, a total of 2,200. Now, I'm not going to argue which is faster, although you will find when you come to practice questions, because the information can be given in various ways, you will find that that is generally the quickest way. Take the cash we paid, add on what was already paid last year, the prepayment at the beginning, subtract the amount that's been prepaid this year, the prepayment at the end. But that's your choice. OK. Um, there's the figure and uh, 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 for the expense. As far as the prepayment is concerned in the statement of financial position, well, we've already calculated it. Under current assets, the prepayment, I think I said enough last time, it's like a receivable, it's an asset. But with the prepayment at the end of the year, we've already calculated, is 1,200. And there we are. All right, well, I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but usually that's all that's needed. But just for completeness, I'd better show you uh, how it appears in the T accounts. So let's repeat the exercise, but this time again, bookkeeper and accountant. Now remember, it's the same um, situation as example one. It's effectively the same example. So uh, if you look back at example one, at the end of last year, we had an insurance account, but at the end of the year, we left a balance of zero. But we also had a prepayments account. And if you look back at the end of last year, 
there was a balance on it of a thousand and we left the balance there. It appeared on the statement of financial position. Now, of course, there'd be lots of other balances, but we're not concerned with them. Uh, you'd only ever be looking at this in the exam as just an extract, uh, just the one item. So that's how things finished at the end of last year. However, when we move into this year, on the first day of this year, before the accountant give the, gives the books back to the uh, bookkeeper, the accountant will, what we say, reverse that prepayment. The point is, at the end of last year, that thousand was overpaid. But now we've started this year, that thousand, of course, is the first bit of this year's expense. And so we give it back to insurance. We credit prepayments, so the balance is now zero. You know, we're in the new year, we've no longer overpaid, and we debit insurance. And so we're already showing the first bit of this year's expense. Remember, we are now in 2001. We give the books back to the bookkeeper, and the bookkeeper carries on as normal. What happens this year? All that happens is we've one payment of 2,400, and the bookkeeper is always, we make a payment, we record it, credit cash, debit insurance. And that's the only payment this year, so that's all the bookkeeper will have done. The bookkeeper might wonder, what's that thousand doing there? Well, that's nothing to do with the bookkeeper. It's not their job. That's the only entry, so we come to the end of the year. Uh, we strike the balance. The balance is 3,400. Normal procedure. Having got the balances, again, uh, the accountant, insurance normally appears in the uh, statement of profit or loss, it's an expense. But we have to check, have we overpaid? The accountant will look at the last payment, that 2-4, and check the dates. And of course, we look at the dates and find we've paid all the way through to June 2002. So there is an overpayment. So we calculate the prepayment. Uh, well, I showed you the workings before, but, you know, we, we paid 12 months through to June 2002. Our year end was December 2001, so we've overpaid six months of the 12-month bill. We've overpaid 1,200. So in exactly the same way as last year, having discovered that that total includes an overpayment, well, we take it out. We credit insurance. That 1200 wasn't part of this year's expense. And we debit prepayments. And that one entry now sorts it. Because go back to insurance. How much is left on the account? Debit 3, 4, credit 1200. Um, the net amount is 2,200. And that 2,200, that is the expense for this year. Credit insurance, debit statement of profit or loss. The balance is zero, ready for next year. What about the prepayments account? Well, of course, that's the asset, the overpayment, in a sense, the receivable. It will appear on the statement of financial position. And as always, as a statement of financial position item, as an asset, we leave the balance there. 
So there we are. There's the complete picture. But even though I've probably said it three or four times already, for one, just one last time, check you're happy with the debits credits. Uh, but in the exam, you will not be asked to write up to your accounts. There could be a question checking you know what the entries are, but most questions will want to know what's the expense, what will appear in the statement of financial position. So go back and check you were happy what I did. You don't need T accounts to get those figures. Now, one small thing from a practical point of view. In real life, of course, even though in the exam you'll only be ever dealing with one expense in one question, uh, in real life there are lots and lots of expenses. And it might not just be insurance where you've prepaid. You know, maybe uh, you've overpaid electricity or something, it's unlikely, but maybe you have. Uh, and so for each expense account, we enter in the same way. If there's a prepayment, we take it out, we credit, we debit the prepayments account. But in the prepayments account could be several prepayments for different expenses. Maybe you've over, you prepaid rent. Well, fine. There's the prepayment for insurance. In addition, you'd have a prepayment for rent and so on. And in the statement of financial position, we would just show the total on this account. You don't show each prepayment separately. We just show one total for all the prepayments. Uh, but then in the next year, we put the prepayment back to where it was. I hope that made sense, but that was just from a practical point of view. All right, that's prepayments. In the same chapter, though, because there is, as you'll see, a big similarity. Uh, there's accruals. So in the next lecture, uh, we'll look at what happens, what our accruals are, and how we deal with them.